Good afternoon. This is James from Shopsmith Repair, the Woodworking Academy. And I have, today I would like to talk to you a little bit more about motors. I know we've talked or covered this subject in several videos in the past, but I have some new information. And the main reason I want to talk about them is because if they fail, that's a major contributing factor. You're talking four or five, 400 to 500 dollars to replace a motor. And uh, I know you might be tempted to get one from eBay, but I cannot recommend that because out of 10 motors that I had or purchased on eBay, uh, one of them failed and I have to eat the cost of that, you know. He, uh, he sold it without warranty. I went ahead and bought it anyway and uh, that was a loss out of my pocket. Alright so let's look at the component parts of a motor. There's at least five. Alright number one is this armature here. You see the armature and the other part of this is the shaft. You want to make sure you have a good shaft. You can have a bad shaft. Um, and sometimes I'll have a bad armature but the armatures have a part number on them. So if I have an old motor that has a good armature and a good shaft, I may be able to replace that and say I'll salvage a motor. All right. This particular motor has a sleeve in the back that goes into a, a bushing here on the end cap. You can see that. Now, you may, you may find that your motor has two bearings, because most of them do. I, don't prefer this design, but they, it was used for a long time in the Shopsmith Motors. Um, most of them came from Mexico. Uh, so in a previous video, I talked about the different failures in the motors. And I said, you know, if you hear your motor hum when you turn it on, doesn't start running, turn it off right away. This is why. And I'm going to show you here. And you can see this winding all burned up in here. And that is the start winding. It's small wires and if you apply all the electricity to it which comes through the start switch here you see the start switch and this is your throw up. When, when, when you get up to speed this will go like that and let the start switch open up. And that has to do that when it's in the run mode. So if you have a, a shorted start switch or it doesn't get up to speed this is going to be pumping electricity into this fine winding and you will burn it up and that's an expensive thing four hundred dollars at least plus tax shipping you name it okay so we put that motor up and i'm going to show you a brand new shopsmith motor now, for a while I couldn't get them, so I had to use used motors. But now, Shopsmith has new motors, and I find them superior to anything you can buy on the internet. As you know, I have always recommended Shopsmith parts, because they're better. Well, motors are no exception. Alright, I'm going to open up this brand new motor for you. When I open the box, the first thing I take out is a package with a zip tie, a spacer for the motor, and instructions. You set those aside for a little bit. So, if you look at the motor, the first thing you notice is that it's made in the USA. And it is quality built from the ground up. It has bearings that are sealed on both sides. And you know, if you watch my previous videos, that's what I do. That's what I recommend. And then if you look back in here at the internal components, there is the new white start switch. Here is a, uh, an example of a new start switch. And you can see that it's really well made. It's riveted good, riveted good here. It has great contacts and they're not covered by the rubber. And that's the type of switch 
that this motor has. So Shopsmith has come out with a high quality motor and I strongly recommend Shopsmith parts, including the motor. I want to thank you for watching this video. In conclusion, I uh, want to remind you that by using quality Shopsmith parts, which is what we do, your machine is going to last longer and give you much better or longer service life. Uh, if you want to contact me or send your machine in, go to my contact page. You'll find my email there and you'll also find my phone number. Contact me by either uh, and I'll be getting back with you with what to do or information. Hope this has helped and thank you very much for watching. Oh, <laughs>